Well, hello everybody and welcome. Finally get to make the video of what is phenomenal water. I've heard this a million times in my life. And so finally I want to make a video and end this discussion permanently. So to answer that question, what is phenomenal, we need to know just a little bit of chemistry. Not bad. Don't worry. Won't be hard. And we're going to start with something really, really simple. A good old water molecule. Good old H2O. Well, what is H2O? Of course, you have two hydrogens and one oxygen. That makes H2O. But if you look a little bit closer, this is an oxygen molecule by itself. And whenever you see molecules like all stuck together, the places where they're stuck together are called valences. And a valence is actually very simple. It's this spot right here. It's where molecules hook onto each other. And in the case of an oxygen, you'll notice those are pluses. What that means is... In chemistry, if something has an electron, literally electricity, it's marked with a plus. And if something is missing an electron, it's marked with a minus. So in the case of oxygen, it's one big oxygen. Oxygen is actually a very, very big molecule. And then it has two valences, right there and right there, and it has two pluses. That's an oxygen. Well, you get good old hydrogens floating by, and the hydrogens are missing electrons. Now, occasionally, in the case of when they're in a gaseous form, or air, they have a positive, sometimes. But at least in the case of our illustration, water wouldn't work if they had positive electrons. See, hydrogen uh, is, is very, very interesting in a lot of ways. First off, it's one of the most plentiful things on our entire planet. But, and, and it can go and have a positive and a negative, but we're really, we're really getting into splitting hairs here. It really doesn't matter, because, of course, water is water. It's two hydrogens and an oxygen. And if it didn't have that missing an electron or a negative charge, water wouldn't bind together and it wouldn't be H2O. So it has a negative bond and there it is. That's hydrogen. Well, okay, thanks for the chemistry lesson. What does that, what does that mean? What we need to know is really what is pH or what is, what is a pH meter reading? We hear all this talk about acids are bad for you, alkalines are good, why? What does that mean? What in the world does that mean? pH stands for percentage or parts hydrogen. And when you have water with more hydrogens in it, a pH meter or pH paper reads those hydrogens. And it comes back with the answer. It says, oh, there's more hydrogen. This is very acidic water. Okay, so I, made, I just made this up. This isn't accurate, but it gets the point across. You have big, stable waters here, but then you got a few of these guys floating around. A few, few extra hydrogens. And a pH meter would read that and say this is acidic water. On the flip side, it would look at this. See, I took the hydrogens out and I put a bunch of extra oxygens. Once again, not accurate because if the oxygens didn't have hydrogens, they wouldn't be water. They would be gas and they would go away. But you get the point. Water with more oxygen is alkaline. Or the pH meter reads it and says, hey, there's, there's not enough hydrogen here to be called uh, acid water. So it brings back a number. And that number is how we judge how acid or alkaline something is. It's actually pretty simple, really, when you get down to it. Well, back to this big oxygen. What is phenomenal water? Phenomenal water, if you wanted something to be very, very alkaline, you would need it to have extra oxygens, correct? Well, you can't take both hydrogens off, because like I said, it would be a gas. But there's a very unstable little area, which nobody's been able to figure out until we figured out how to make phenomenal. By the way, it's double patented. It, it's a fat patent, too. It took a long time to do it. But we figured out how to remove one of the hydrogens. And that's it. This molecule is called hydroxide. And you can look up a hydroxide. It'll tell you exactly what it is. It's found in a lot of waters, uh, and obviously on the alkaline side of waters, but it's not stable. And there's a very, very minute amount of hydroxide in waters. Well, we figured out how to not only make a massive amount of hydroxide, but then make it stable. As long as it's in a bottle, it's stable, which is amazing. And I'll tell you why. It's because on this molecule right here, you have an extra valence, like I said, an extra electron to give away. Literally, free energy to give your body. And on top of that, it's looking for a hydrogen. So, for example, the body, uh, our bodies, are very, very good at getting rid of acidity. For example, we breathe it out in the, in the 
carbon, di carbon dioxide that we breathe out. We sweat out lactic acid, we sweat out different acids, we urinate them out, and our body is constantly getting rid of acids. Well, when you, you can, it's very easy to get into conditions to where your body gets overwhelmed. Or, when you're eating foods that are constantly full of hydrogen, coffee, tea, soda, wine, and the list goes on, hydrogenated oils, you know, those french fries at the, uh, at the fast food restaurant and all the foods. Basically, any food that has a shelf life was made with hydrogenated or hydrogenated oil. Literally, they pump that oil full of hydrogen to get it to preserve. And so therefore, we eat it and, and there we go. We have more hydrogen in our body. What if you could make a hydrogen hunter? What if you could literally drink water that was missing hydrogen? You know, it could properly actually be called dehydrogenated water. What a mouthful, right? But but that would be a miracle, it would be wonderful, because it would literally remove, it would go and look for hydrogens that are floating around in your body. Just like that water slide uh, that I showed you earlier with all the extra hydrogens, our blood gets like that. Uh, you ever been just so tired, just ugh, or, or you know, when, as you're working out and you have extremely high levels of lactic acid, that's extra hydrogen floating around in your blood. So, what can it do for you? If you'll watch some of the videos on this, uh, on this website, the phenomenal videos that I've made about different things about phenomenal, uh, like I said, there's different conditions that the body can get into that have high levels of acidity. We're not claiming that phenomenal cures anything because it doesn't. It's just a tool. It's a tool that removes hydrogen because when you drink it, it's missing hydrogen and it, it binds it back up. It fills that valence where that it's missing the hydrogen and it becomes water again. That's the beauty of it, is that it, there's nothing there to hurt anything because it simply becomes water again and you urinate it out, you get rid of it. So this is a big one. Uh, is it the same as alkaline water machines? I've made a video about this very subject and the answer is no, absolutely not. Um, I have an alkaline water machine. I use it if I wanted to go through the trouble of hooking it up and I like them. So I'm not, I'm not knocking an alkaline water machine, but it is absolutely not the same as an alkaline water machine. I got a video, hope you enjoy it. I didn't really want to go through it on this particular video. So it's not an alkaline, it's not the same as an alkaline water machine. You can actually mix phenomenal with your alkaline water machine water and remove hydrogen from the body. Uh, like I say, it's a, a little bit different subject. You'll love that video though. I actually took apart the entire machine to make the video. It's kind of cool. Anyway, it is not the same as an alkaline water machine. And, uh, there you go. Phenomenal water is wonderful. You can see and review the testimonials. Athletes absolutely love it. Uh, if you're feeling down, you're feeling tired, you should try. Just try. Try some. Stick to, stick to drinking for Phenomenal for a week and you will feel that boost of energy. I felt a massive difference in my own life. Uh, my, the pain in my neck went away. I've got more energy. I just feel wonderful. And you just do that on a, on a daily basis. You're giving yourself free electrons and a boost of oxygen and that can all be proved with a pH meter, and it's stable. Very cool. Enjoy your phenomenal water.